in this session let's learn some concepts about undo data what is an undo data an undo data is a copy of pre-modified data that is captured for every transaction that changes the data that means before making any change to the data it takes a copy of pre-modified data and is stored in the undo segment okay let's take a look at an example here we have two rows okay now when a user is performing an insert statement and is trying to insert a row you see what is stored in an undo it is storing the delete information it is saying suppose if I have to do an undo if I delete this inserted row then it will go back to its original state so here we have two rows when we insert this row will be inserted when we undo that row will be deleted and we'll be back to these two rows right yes now in case of an update here we see we are updating name to Jeff and country to Ireland for customer ID 10 okay this row we are updating to Jeff and Ireland so it is taking the value of John and the country USA and it is storing in the undo segment so if we have to do an undo what it can do it can take these values and can apply back to this row so again we have this data now let's take a delete example here the user is trying to delete the row with a customer ID 11 so which is this row so what is stored in the undo segment it is storing the information of that entire row C 11 Tom USA you see 11 Tom USA if we have to do an undo what is an undo of a delete it is insert it will insert back that row which brings back to our original two rows cool right yes like this for various operations Oracle will maintain an undo so that if we have to reverse back the action Oracle can easily do it using the undo data stored in the undo segments okay you are thinking why does it need to store the reasons are whenever you want to roll back a transaction you need this undo data or to support read consistent queries we need undo data you are thinking what is read consistent I will explain it in the next session okay and this undo data is used to support flashback operations when I say flashback operations suppose you want the data how it looked as of yesterday can you get it from yesterday lot of data will be changed but somehow you wanted to know how the data looked as of yesterday you can do that only if you have lot of undo maintained okay so to perform such flashback operations you need undo data okay we will learn about flashback later on in depth okay and this undo data is also used to recover from the failed transactions okay these are the main use cases of why we need a undo data okay the next thing you are thinking is how long this undo data stay does it stay forever the answer is no this undo data is stored until either the user commits the transaction or the user rollbacks the transaction or the user executes a DDL statement like create drop alter rename on the table for which undo data is maintained okay and also whenever the user session is terminated abnormally obviously when it is terminated abnormally the transaction is rollbacked and the undo data is no more retained and also whenever the user session terminates normally that means you close it willingly then the transaction commits and then the undo data is erased okay until one of the scenario happens the undo data is maintained okay there are some other ways where you can maintain this undo data for a long time that we will discuss in the next sessions okay but remember this scenarios the next obvious question is where does this undo data stay the undo data is stored in the undo segments which are part of undo table space yes all the pre-modified data or if you want to call it as 
old data is copied from the database buffer cache into the undo segment. These undo segments are part of undo table space. Okay, the important point to remember is a instance, a Oracle instance can have only one active table space. This is a very important point. Okay, a Oracle instance can have only one active table space and this undo table space is owned by the user sys. Okay.